Hi guys, I'm Quickle and welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. As we left off, we started the Red Cliff thing in Jiggy. And uh, we've uh, got Sten's sword back. We uh, uh, we had a, we had a letter of um, the thing about the the woman about her husband dying. We got Sten's sword back. We got the smith to do repairs for the militia, and we handed the conscription letter to that man, and got Dwin who had Sten's sword to, start, to help fight tonight. And I'm doing this the wrong order, but who gives a shit? The tavern. So I mean, we're going to go to the tavern because I know you can get. St Two people from here actually. It's not bad, it's not bad at all. Graffiti. Berwick. Not looking for company. Who are you? I'm not here to talk. Idea what you're talking about. But you do, don't you? I know a spy when I see one. Look, just because you're an elf doesn't mean we should be friends. I was just told to. I mean, just leave me alone. I'm not going anywhere. Stop talking. About what? Just because you're a Grey Warden doesn't mean you can go around threatening people. And who's going to stop me? I... I'm not here to hurt anyone, I swear. I'll tell you what you want to know, just don't kill me! This is more than I bargained for. Look, they just paid me to watch the castle and send word if anything should change. But they never said anything about monsters. I haven't even been able to report anything since this started. I'm stuck, same as you, I swear! Who are they? Who hired you to do this? A tall fellow. I forget his name. He, uh, said he was working for Hal. Arl Rendon Hal. He's an important man. Terran Logan's right hand. So I didn't do anything wrong. How do I know you're telling the truth? Here. This is a letter mm. from them. It has instructions and everything. It's Keep it. Do whatever you want with it. I just thought I was serving the king and making a bit of coin on the side. You have to believe me. I think you should go help defend Redcliffe tonight. Oh, all right, I'll do it. Thank you for your mercy. I won't forget it. Go, another fighter. And he seems to have a good, be good with a plan. Bella. Another doomed soul come to drown their sorrows here, I see. If you came here for a drink, you'll have to talk to Lloyd. He's got a vice grip on the spigots. I'm just here to keep the boys from mutiny. You'd be at the Chantry. Later on, yes. Lloyd will lock himself in the cellar, and I'll go to the Chantry. Are you fighting tonight? Yes, I am. That's good to hear. I didn't know that. So how's business been? What business? Without the castle soldiers, the only customers we have are local. And they're all in the militia with no money to spend. A few with any money are here, but it's not enough to justify working. Lloyd's a... Greasy pig. And if I didn't need this job so badly, I... Yeah. Pretty girl like you, you should be able to do better. Oh, you think I'm pretty, do you? Pretty enough that I'd help you leave if you wanted to. You mean after the fighting's over? I'd really like that. What would I have to do in return? I'll take a kiss and nearly smile. <laughs> you are a rare one, you are, making me laugh with this blackness hanging over our heads. I'll tell you what, sweetie. You make it through the night and you'll get your kiss. Make her bless you. I'll kiss every man in the village if we survive. Hurrah! Three cheers for Bella! I should go. Keep safe. Mm.
Oh, for God's sake, I'll stop. You've, chances are we'll be heading to dinner room soon. And Where from us have to go I'm this? not talking oh. about a friend, exactly. And no, it's not that sort of friend either. The thing is, I have a sister, a half-sister. I told you about my mother, right? She was a servant at Redcliffe Castle and she had a daughter. Only, I never knew about her. I don't think she knew about me either. They kept my birth a secret after all. But, after I became a great warden, I did some checking and, well, I found out she's still alive. In Denham. Have you contacted her? No. I thought about writing her, but I never did. And then we were called down to Ostagar, and I never got the chance. She's the only real family I have left. The only family not also mixed up in the whole royal thing. I've just been thinking that maybe it's time I went to see her. With the blight coming and everything, I, I don't know if I'll ever get another chance to see her. Maybe I can help her. Warn her about the danger, I don't know. If you want to, we can try. Could we? I'd appreciate that. If something happened to her and I never went to at least see her, I don't know if I could forgive myself. Her name is Goldana, and I think she remarried but still lives just outside the alienage. If we're in the area, then, well, it's worth a look. Yes. Lloyd, our sounds family. Hello there, friend. Can't say we've ever met before. Stranger to the village, I take it. Haven't had many travelers lately. All this nonsense is bad for business. Bet you regret coming, yes? What do you mean? Oh, you know, evil creatures, impending doom, civil war, and the Earl's dead in the castle. Makes you thirsty, doesn't it? So, what'll it be? You are here to drink, I hope. Who are you, anyway? Name's Lloyd. We don't get many elves out here. You'll run away from the city. I'm a Grey Warden. Yeah. Well, learn something new every day. Something else I can get for you? Answer a few questions. Fine. Make them quick. Can you be helping defend the village? Why? When them creatures attack, I lock myself in the cellar, just batter the hatches and wait it out. What's the point of getting myself killed with all the rest of them? If that makes me a coward, then I'm a coward. Either you die fighting the militia or die now. No choice. But Van Tegen said we didn't have to. He said, he said, ah, fine, fine, I'll go. But all of this better be here when I get back. I don't want the place drunk out from under me. Blasted. I see you got that bastard Lloyd to join the militia. It's about time he did something to help out. I guess this puts me in charge. <laughs> Poor Lloyd will have an apoplexy just thinking about it, eh? I need some supplies. Fair enough. Let me see what Lloyd's... Some potions. I don't know why I could just... The wine. There we go. Village. Speak to Sir Perth. And now we've got to find Caitlin's brother as well. So there's another. And another case. Hopefully. Million knows Pope Goth loves her. Pope, Pope Goth. The kids in Pope Goth books isn't cheating. Too much what? Do you have a problem with him? Beyond the fact that he's an assassin who's trying to kill us more than once? No, no, not really. Do women go for that sort of thing? <laughs> uh, sort of 
like coming home again, but with more undead. Superb. Greetings, Grey Warden. I am as relieved. I must admit, I do not know how to address an elf in your position. I do not wish to be rude. <sighs> Call me Buck off if you would. As you wish, and thank you kindly. I am Sir Perth, until recently in direct service of Arl Eamon of Redcliffe. For now, my charge is defending the village from these evil assaults. Would that I had chosen not to seek out the urn of sacred ashes. Perhaps I would have fended off whatever evil befell the castle. Or perhaps I would be dead. Oh well, with the Grey Warden aiding our defence, perhaps all is not lost. Can you need help? We have sufficient armour and weapons, but my knights are too few to stand against the monsters without assistance. Perhaps you could approach Mother Hannah in the Chantry for some holy protection against these evil creatures. Otherwise, I do not know what else you could provide beyond your own talents. We're as prepared for the onslaught as we could possibly be, all things considered. I'll see what I can do. That gladdens my heart to hear it. Carry on. As you wish. Right. That's the Chantry. House for a brother. I know where to go to take some oil, but it's about to make a fire. Are they not stirring for her? Well, I'm here. I'm cold. I'm certainly going to die. Hope you're as amused as Murdoch is. That's what I get for mixing myself up in all this. The repairs are underway surprisingly quickly, considering how drunk Owen is. We may just make it. I'm back. I need to check something. Sorry. I talked to Merlin. Caitlin's house. The Battle of River Day. Morgan McTeer became known as a hero when he's, uh, he and his men finally drove the forces of the Legion Empire. Out of the world after almost 80 years of occupation. Oh. When you approach the dress, something moves inside you, you're sure surprised and take a breath in silence. What was inside the dress, sir? Come out now. Go away. This isn't your home. This is my home. My home, you hear me? Bevan, is that you? How, How do you know my name? I'm Caitlin's friend. Did, did she tell you to take me back to the Chantry? Don't make me go back there. I hate that place. I hate it. Why do you hate the Chantry Everybody's so much? Everybody's scared. But they tell me I shouldn't be scared. And they tell me I shouldn't be sad that Mother died. I, I don't want to be sad. I'm brave. I'm going to be a hero. I'm going to fight them off. I will. From in there? No. No. I just heard you coming and I guess that's not very brave of me, is it? I'll... I'll come out now. All right. I came out. You won't hurt me. Will you? I'll go back to the Chantry if you really want. First tell me what you were going to do. I... I can't tell you. It's a secret. You sure? Maybe I could help you. You could. All right, I guess. I just... Father said I could have his sword when I grew up. It was Grandfather's. I thought... If I was brave like Grandfather, I could use his sword and... kill the bad people who took Mother. Where's the sword now? In the chest. In Mother's room. Father gave me a key, but I'm not supposed to give it to anyone. Why do you use the sword to help the village? I... I guess you're right. I should help defend the village, shouldn't I? 
father would have if he were here. Oh, all right. Here's the key. I hope you use it to kill a lot of those bad people. I should go back to the Chantry. Good luck. Thank you. What a polite little boy. Now to get that sword. So we'll get the sword, go to the Chantry, do that, go to Perth and start. And by the time we get back to Perth, it should be over 20 minutes. The green blade. Now what do you want? Shelf. I'll turn the sword to the map afterwards. Here's a family relic after all. Don't want him taking a family relic away from the fam. Hey. Bushanna, Bushanna, Bushanna. Not gonna get the fire actually. No, I don't really care about it. Chantry. When it loads, we can do this. For 17 minutes, oh, I have faith, trust, and pixie dust. Okay, then. Evan said you were the one who found him. I can't possibly repay you. I'll take a kiss from a pretty girl. You're very sweet. I, I suppose there's no harm in it. Kiss her. Good luck. Me too. Lil's disapproved by ten. Hey, baby. Come on, lovely. Come on, now you're lovely. Let us pray. It is not right. Where can I love you? No one You are of elven blood and a stranger. Yet you defend a home that is not your own. We are grateful for that. What the hell's wrong with you, Redcliffe? Is there a reason I shouldn't help? Many elves claim we wouldn't do the same in return. I would like to think that is not true, but I cannot speak for all. Allow me to introduce myself. I am revered Mother Hannah, head of this chantry, which for the moment is a place of refuge for the poor villagers. <coughs> How awful this must be for you all. Is this everyone who's left? All those who cannot defend themselves, yes. They are terrified of tonight's attack, and I fear these walls will not keep them safe. What can I do to help with your task? Sir Perth needs holy protection for the knights. I have done all I can for them. I pray for them each night and seek the Maker's forgiveness for their sins before they face their death. What Sir Perth seeks is something that is not in my power to give. Can't you just bless them? I can pray with them and give them my blessing. But Sir Perth wants me to call upon the Maker to shield them from evil. Well, can't you just tell him the Maker will watch over him? Morale is a powerful thing, you know. You mean you want me to let them think the Maker protects them in a real sense? I will not lie to them like that. Because they think it helps them. I suppose their belief in the Maker's power could inspire them, but it just seems like trickery. Very well. If it keeps them alive, I will do what I must. I have a number of silver cast holy symbols. Tell Sir Perth that he can have them, and that wearing them will confer the Maker's protection. Now, please, let me tell. Let's go. Right, Sir Perth. This is who I told you about, Caitlin. 
Masa sekali If you don't repair, then I'm guessing they wear their normal clothing. That's actually, that's actually pretty cool. I like that. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. I like that. That's pretty cool. Zepa. The Knights of Redcliffe are ready to fight at your disposal. You said you wanted the holy protection. Have you spoken to the revered mother? Has she offered anything? Mother Hannah has some holy, am holy amulets. Did those do? Must we do this? The faith that will protect these men must come from their heart, surely. If they are the same as the symbols worn by their priests, well, that would more than suffice. It's not even magical. I do not approve of majory and such. But the symbols of the chantry are holy and blessed by the maker, not the work of mages. I will send some men to collect the ambulance. Please give my regards to Mother Hannah for seeing some sense of love. I'm ready to make the stand. There is still time before the sun goes down. If you have not yet spoken to Murdoch, or if there is no, anything... No, I'm ready now. Good luck to you, Ben. And may the maker watch over us With all. that, we'll cut the view off. So as always, hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Bye.